Party Cowboy und willkommen zu Red Dem Redemption Trial. Mein Name ist Patrick Unterstrich Unterstrich nur zwei. Mein Name ist Patrick Unterstrich Gamer Unterstrich nur zwei. Und herzlich willkommen zu Part 21 von Harry der Cowboy. Hey -oh. Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Her I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. <laughs> All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a okay, safe house. Okay, then we'll She ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. 
She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Oh, Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She was not careful. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. face of yours, and I know that for the right inducements. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by it. I said... You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> Those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, uh, the one in front of the boat. Bring them back alive. I ain't done with them yet. All right. Get after them. It's okay. There. Straight ahead. I saw them go through those bushes. Oh, look at these cowards. They're heading down the hill to the water. You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did. You got it. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. We're coming for you. the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. You stay the hell out of here. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Use the lasso. Don't kill him yet. Make sure before we take him alive. Don't let him get away. That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. You son of a bitch. Make these nice and tie. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Comfortable enough for you? You have the first idea what you're getting into. Mm -hmm. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. 
Who are you running here, coward? <laughs> Get off me, funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. <laughs> this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Yeah, boogeyman. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away. And tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the mm. bastard off. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. Wir plündern hier noch das Haus.
Getting this off you, girl. So, off Saturn. Wir setzen dann hier auf und dann gehen wir jetzt hin. Wir bringen jetzt hier das Pferd, was wir jetzt hier haben, bringen wir zum Steil. Zum Einlagern. Und dann reiten wir mit erstmal ein anderes Pferd weiter.
This won't be long. Und dann reiten wir jetzt nach Salt Dengis.
voll abgeknallt. Ja, muss man wieder aufpassen, ein paar Alligatoren. Bin ich jetzt hier richtig? Ja. You want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? <laughs> of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous. A very good choice, sir. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreed. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You give my mind, yeah? And win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. 
You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Uh, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! Cole thinks he's real tough, huh? My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Hit on the way to the outhouse? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're gonna let him play big at the tables tonight. Smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. What an elegant wagon. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. Some toad. Prince, uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a fresh oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. Think ham. So, who's the mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. They are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. So, da bin ich wieder. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, then. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The table's away. Okay, ohne Schusswaffen ohne Scheiße. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. 
Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Are you playing tonight, sir? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some. Uh, oh, finally, we're in the party poker. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like Whoa. this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. The <laughs> hell with I don't know why I'm doing this, but race. Here we go then. Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe, ah. you're the three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. All in. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning. Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. Mm -hmm. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we crossed back. So I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. <laughs> I am one hundred percent all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, well, sir. Everyone is nothing to venture, <laughs> nothing <laughs> gained. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, um,. Where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. 
I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. So. Yeah, I know, I know. Thank you, my ass, my intel. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Not like Mr. Blythe to leave here down. I'm well, sure he can afford it. Here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. Toward the end of I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Huh? Oh, no Gesicht. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen da, da, when you leave it alone in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. We gotta get out of here.
Ja, weil die auch gar nicht anzeigen, wo lang, ey, die Schweine. one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Eine Mission. So you getting along okay? Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <clears throat> Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am. I should have asked someone else, but. But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. But it all seems so long ago and far away now. Boom, 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 boom. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling, drinking, and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? 
He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, or <laughs> 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 Suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. Money, money, money. It's a sunny. Very it's a money boy. Oh! Guns down there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. A fine lady. She's just gone inside. Money, money, money. Lady, it's a sunny. In the heat's a boy. Oh. Money, money, money. In the sunny. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. I am no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. See why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. So, what did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. 
<laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. Yeah. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there.
Hey! Stop that coach! Get the hell! Show up to this. is to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus! Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you mess with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Okay, girl. Take a walk. 
I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Head to the theater, perhaps. Nah, 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 nah. Fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look and at the company I keep. Day. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. Mm -hmm. Ach, How about about here on the right? Sure. After you. The greatest assembler of entertainment yeah! since Nero himself. Ah, all right. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting or not. Are you in a rush, Arthur? Show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Uh -huh. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. <laughs> Verlassen. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Sure, if you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> <laughs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life 
wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. The Boogeyman! Yeah, the Boogie Boogeyman! But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some. Then some fool got a trap into a town and I can't go back to it. It's another story. I'll write you. Mr. I believe we've met mm -hmm. at that ghastly party. Oh, Hello, I. Hello, I. Mr. Mm -hmm. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved, la, 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 and punished, la, 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 la. punished, and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a uh, bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. 
And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Entrée. Yeah. Wo ist denn mein dummes Pferd?
wir mal hier so entlang. Mein Gott, ne ja. Hey -ya! Ja, in der Richtung. Da unten. Mein Gott, nee! Immer diese Banditen! Meine Fresse, immer diese scheiß verfickten Hurensöhne von Russland. Ja, komm hier lang. Reiter. Scheiß Herd. So, ich sag mal bis später.